National parks are renowned for their stunning natural beauty and diverse wildlife. But beyond this, many national parks hold secrets and mysteries that continue to captivate visitors and researchers alike. Behind the beauty and tranquility, there's a darker side to these parks. Over the past few decades, countless people have disappeared while visiting a national park. Despite extensive search efforts and investigations, some cases remain unsolved, fueling speculation and theories about what could have happened. These disappearances have become a subject of interest to those fascinated by the unknown and unexplained. In this video, we'll delve further into the mysteries of these places. From an alleged cult to mysterious fireballs, here are 20 unexplained mysteries of the national parks. Number 20. The Cult of Santa Fe Forest Service officials and park rangers in the Santa Fe National Forest have come across a multitude of perplexing structures, leaving them bewildered and in search of answers. The enigmatic formations vary in size, but they were all built from felled trees and branches, with some structures about 20 feet high and stretching about a dozen feet wide. The structures are in the form of a teepee, crafted out of wooden branches, with some erected around trees, while others are freestanding. The teams working in the National Forest are apprehensive, not only about the possibility of the structures fueling fires, but also about their structural stability. The pace of construction of these peculiar structures increased after the first ones were discovered, but the culprits behind their construction remain unidentified to this day. Some people speculate that a cult was to blame for the weird wooden structures, but there are also those who believe it was Bigfoot's doing. What do you think? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. The Wendigo Who Lurks in the Wilderness The Wendigo is a terrifying creature from the folklore of the Algonquin people, who are indigenous to the northeastern United States and Canada. It's said to be a malevolent spirit or demon that takes the form of a gaunt skeletal creature with glowing eyes and long, sharp claws. According to legend, the Wendigo preys on humans, particularly those who are lost or stranded in the wilderness. It's said to be able to mimic human voices to lure its victims deeper into the forest, where it can then attack and devour them. It's also said to have an insatiable hunger for human flesh and is never satisfied, always craving more. The origins of the Wendigo legend are unclear, but it's thought to have originated as a cautionary tale among the Algonquin people about the dangers of cannibalism. According to some versions of the legend, a person who resorts to cannibalism in extreme circumstances may become possessed by the spirit of the Wendigo, transforming into a monster with an insatiable hunger for human flesh. In modern times, the legend of the Wendigo has been popularized in horror fiction and video games and it's become a staple of horror lore. Some people even claim to have encountered the creature in real life, although these accounts are usually dismissed as hoaxes, or the result of overactive imaginations. The number of missing persons in national parks and forests is difficult to quantify, because the National Park Service does not keep comprehensive statistics on the matter. However, according to some estimates, as many as 1,600 people have gone missing in national parks and forests over the last century. Who knows? Perhaps some of these people have seen the fearsome Wendigo while trying to find their way back to the right path. Number 18. Disappearance of Glenn and Bessie Hyde Glenn and Bessie Hyde were a young couple who disappeared while attempting to navigate the treacherous rapids of the Grand Canyon in 1928. Their disappearance remains as one of the most long-standing mysteries in American history and has inspired countless books, articles, and documentaries. Glenn and Bessie Hyde were newlyweds who shared a love of adventure and a desire to make a name for themselves. They embarked on a journey to navigate the entire length of the Colorado River, starting at Green River, Wyoming, and ending at Needles, California. They set out in November 1928, with Glenn piloting their wooden boat and Bessie serving as his assistant. Along the way, they encountered a number of challenges, including rough waters, freezing temperatures, and dangerous rapids. Despite these difficulties, the couple made steady progress, and they were last seen by other travelers on November 18, 1928. However, when they failed to arrive at their destination, a search party was launched, but no traces of them or their boat was ever found. There are many theories about the cause of their disappearance, with some speculating that they may have fallen victim to an accident 
or encountered hostile parties along the river. Others have suggested that they may have faked their own deaths to escape their troubled marriage or start a new life elsewhere. Number 17. Disappearance of Lauren Lauren Cho was a 30-year-old hiker who disappeared while on a cross-country trip with her friends. Her disappearance sparked an extensive search effort and remains a mystery to this day. Cho was last seen on Benmar Trail in Hooper Road, off California State Route 62. Over the following weeks, hundreds of search and rescue personnel as well as volunteers scoured the area for any signs of Cho, but no evidence of her whereabouts was found. The search was eventually called off due to harsh weather conditions and the rugged terrain of the area. The circumstances surrounding Cho's disappearance are puzzling, as she was well prepared for her trip and had a detailed itinerary that she had shared with her family and friends. Additionally, the area where she was last seen is relatively well traveled and has few natural hazards or dangers. Despite extensive efforts to locate her, including the use of search dogs, helicopters, and drones, no trace of Cho has been found. Her disappearance has left many questions unanswered and has raised concerns about the safety of solo hikers and backpackers. Investigators and search teams continue to look for any new leads or information that may shed light on what happened to Lauren Cho, but her fate remains a mystery. Number 16. The Birds of Yosemite Let's take a break from all the horror and look at the intriguing and elusive creatures flying over Yosemite, snowy egrets. The snowy egret is a beautiful bird that is occasionally spotted in Yosemite Valley, one of the most popular tourist destinations in California. Known for its bright white feathers and long slender legs, the snowy egret is a striking sight against the backdrop of Yosemite's towering granite cliffs and lush forests. While the snowy egret is not a permanent resident of Yosemite Valley, it's occasionally seen in the area during its migration periods. This bird can be found throughout the Americas, from Canada to South America, and typically spends the winter months in warmer regions before returning north to breed in the summer. One of the best places to spot snowy egrets in Yosemite Valley is in and around the Merced River, which runs through the heart of the valley. These birds can often be seen wading in the river's shallow waters, using their long legs to hunt for fish, amphibians, and other small prey. The snowy egret is an essential part of the ecosystem in Yosemite Valley and other natural areas throughout the Americas. As a top predator in the food chain, it helps to maintain the balance of its ecosystem and ensure the health and vitality of the species it interacts with. While the snowy egret may not be as famous as some of the other wildlife in Yosemite, such as black bears and mountain lions, it's a beautiful and fascinating bird that's worth seeking out when visiting the area. With its striking appearance and important ecological role, the snowy egret is a valuable part of the natural heritage of Yosemite Valley and beyond. Number 15. The Crone of Catskills In 2018, two hikers went to the Catskill Mountains for hiking, but stumbled upon a small cave where they found a peculiar wooden statue with nails in its eyes and a noose around its neck. Despite sensing danger, one of the hikers decided to take the statue home, leading to a series of strange occurrences. The hiker posted about the incident on an online forum, where many advised him to dispose of the statue but he couldn't bring himself to do so. A paranormal expert, Newkirk, ultimately took the statue and added it to his exhibit, but removed it shortly after because the people who touched it suffered from seizures and freak accidents right after. While some believe that the statue was haunted, others think that it was a variation of an Nkondi, a mystical statuette created by the Congo people of the Congo region to affirm oaths and protect villages from witches or evildoers. As such, some speculate that the Nkondi may have been hostile towards the hikers for stealing it from its rightful place in the cave. In some myths, the entity in the statue isn't a malicious being. Some believe that she's a witch or a sorceress, while others see her as a wise woman, a healer, or a guardian of nature. She's often depicted as an old woman with long flowing hair and a long staff, and she's said to possess a vast array of magical powers. Ultimately, the two hikers learned a valuable lesson about respecting the natural world and the mysterious objects they may encounter. They should have heeded their instincts and left the statue untouched rather than risking the paranormal disturbances that followed. Number 14. Missing Park Ranger Paul Fugate was a 41-year-old law enforcement ranger at the Chiricahua National Monument in 1980 
where he had been working for several years. He was known for his passion for his job, adventurous spirit, expertise in hiking, and understanding the region's terrain and geology. Despite previous disciplinary issues due to his refusal to trim his beard, he was generally respected and regarded as a devoted and honorable member of the Ranger Service. In the afternoon of January 13, 1980, Fugate informed a seasonal staff member at the Park Visitor Center that he planned to check the trail leading to Faraway Ranch, a new 400-acre piece of land the park had recently acquired. Dressed in his full Ranger uniform and badge, Paul set off on foot down the dusty trail to check the new Faraway Ranch property. He informed a staff member at the Visitor Center to close up without him if he had not returned by 4.30 p.m. With his experience as a seasoned park ranger and the well-marked trail he was taking, Fugate decided not to take his radio and went on a quick hike. As he casually waved goodbye, no one suspected it would be the last time anyone would ever see him. When Fugate did not return on time, a search was launched involving various agencies, hundreds of law enforcement personnel, tracking dogs, aircraft, and volunteers, including his family. The search initially focused on the faraway ranch trail, but after finding no trace of the missing ranger, the search was expanded to cover over 17 more square miles of vast and rugged terrain. Despite the extensive search effort, there was no sign of Fugate. Law enforcement officials offered a monetary reward, but no leads were produced. While under hypnosis, a potential witness claimed to have seen Fugate unconscious in a truck with two unidentified men, but this lead proved to be fruitless. The witness admitted to the possibility of being mistaken. The vehicle was moving at high speed, and there was no supporting evidence for the claim. The case remained a mystery, and it was widely assumed that he might have been met with foul play. But there was no evidence to support this theory. The disappearance of Paul Fugate remains a perplexing and unsolved case. Number 13. The Bennington Triangle The Bennington Triangle is a term used to describe an area in southwestern Vermont, USA, where several unexplained disappearances and strange events have occurred. Author Joseph A. Citro coined the term in his book Passing Strange, which chronicled the peculiar happenings in the area. The area of the Bennington Triangle covers around 50 square miles and includes the towns of Bennington, Woodford, Shaftesbury, and Somerset. The first disappearance associated with the area occurred in 1945 when 74-year-old Mitty Rivers vanished while out hunting. Despite an extensive search effort, no trace of him was ever found. The most well-known disappearance in the Bennington Triangle happened in 1949 when eight-year-old Paul Jepson disappeared while his mother was busy feeding the pigs on their family farm. The boy was playing with his siblings when he suddenly vanished. A massive search effort involving hundreds of volunteers, law enforcement, and military personnel failed to uncover any sign of the boy. In 1950, 68-year-old James Tedford vanished while traveling through the area on a bus. Witnesses claimed to have seen him on the bus, but when it arrived at its destination, he was nowhere to be found. In 1951, two experienced hikers, Paula Weldon and Frieda Langer, went missing while hiking in the area. No trace of them was ever found. The Bennington Triangle has also been associated with other strange events, including UFO sightings and unexplained animal mutilations. Some people believe the area has supernatural or paranormal qualities while others speculate that there may be a natural explanation for the strange occurrences. Despite the various theories and investigations over the years, no conclusive explanation has been found for the strange events in the Bennington Triangle. It remains a mysterious and haunting place, attracting curious visitors, but then there are those who wish to avoid it at all costs. Number 12. Yucca Man the Yucca Man is a legendary creature said to inhabit the Mojave Desert in California, USA. The creature is described as a tall, bipedal humanoid covered in long, matted hair and possessing immense strength and agility. The first sightings of the Yucca Man date back to the 1970s, with reports of encounters continuing to this day. Some witnesses claim to have heard loud, inhuman screams or saw the creature lurking in the shadows while others report physical interactions such as being chased or attacked. The origin of the Yucca Man legend is unclear, with some suggesting that it may be a Native American spirit or a remnant of a prehistoric species. Others speculate it may be a surviving member of the legendary Bigfoot or Yeti species, 
Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the Yucca Man has become a popular subject of interest among cryptozoologists and paranormal enthusiasts. Several expeditions and investigations have been carried out in the Mojave Desert in an attempt to capture evidence of the creature's existence. But so far, no definitive proof has been found. The Yucca Man continues to be a mysterious and elusive figure, captivating the imaginations of those who seek to uncover the truth behind this legendary creature. Number 11. The Lake Michigan Triangle The Lake Michigan Triangle is a region of the Great Lakes in North America that has been associated with several mysterious events and disappearances. It's roughly bordered by Manitowoc, Wisconsin, Ludington, Michigan, and Benton Harbor, Michigan. Some of the most famous incidents associated with the Triangle include the disappearance of Flight 2501 in 1950, the sinking of the Thomas Hume in 1891, and numerous reports of UFO sightings. Moreover, this site has seen several unexplained disappearances and bewildering incidents. In 1950, a military plane with 23 people on board disappeared while flying over the Triangle. In 1975, SSS Edmund Fitzgerald sank in Lake Superior near the Triangle, resulting in the loss of all 29 crew members. Other disappearances have included boats, planes, and even a snowmobile. The Lake Michigan Triangle is also known for its unusual weather patterns. Some witnesses have reported seeing sudden and severe storms appear out of nowhere, while others have reported seeing strange cloud formations or experiencing strange electrical phenomena. The Triangle has also been the site of numerous reported UFO sightings. Some witnesses have reported seeing strange lights or objects in the sky, while others have reported seeing actual spacecraft. Another strange phenomena reported in the Lake Michigan Triangle is the occurrence of time slips. Witnesses have reported experiencing time anomalies, such as losing hours or feeling like they've traveled through time. Despite numerous theories and investigations, the mysteries of the Lake Michigan Triangle remain unsolved. Some speculate that the area is a portal to another dimension or is haunted by the spirits of those who have disappeared within its boundaries. Number 10 strange disappearance of Alfred Bielharts. In the summer of 1938, the Bielharts family embarked on a camping trip deep within the Rocky Mountain National Park, seeking to enjoy the great outdoors. On July 2nd, they planned to fish in Estes Park and set out on a hiking trail close to Roaring River Creek around 8 a.m. Four-year-old Alfred Edwin Bielharts trailed at the back of the family line. However, his parents soon discovered he had fallen behind and was nowhere in sight. Despite an extensive 10-day search operation throughout the region, Alfred Bielharts was never found, leaving the family in a state of despair. After Alfred went missing during a family hike in Rocky Mountain National Park, his parents initiated a preliminary search before alerting park rangers for assistance. The rangers speculated that Alfred might have drowned in the nearby creek and erected a barbed wire fence to dam the river. They also combed the riverbed but found no trace of the child. After five days of fruitless searching, the rangers discontinued the search. However, Alfred's parents believed he had been abducted, as they were convinced that their son wouldn't wander off. Consequently, the rangers brought in bloodhounds from a nearby Colorado State Penitentiary to track the boy's scent. The dogs led the search party 500 feet uphill from where the parents were when their son disappeared, raising suspicion as he was behind them at that point. Additional bloodhounds followed the same peculiar trail, but were eventually stymied when they reached a fork in the road. Despite 10 days of searching, Alfred Bielharts was never found, and the search was ultimately called off, leaving the family in a state of despair. To this day, Alfred's fate remains a mystery. Number 9. The Cowden Family On September 1, 1974, Richard Cowden, his wife, Belinda June Cowden, and their children, David and Melissa, went missing from their campsite in the Siskiyou Mountains near Copper, Oregon, United States. After seven months, in April 1975, their bodies were discovered roughly seven miles away from their campsite. Despite suspicions from law enforcement that convicted killer Dwayne Lee Little was involved in their deaths, the case has yet to be solved. The Cowden family's vanishing triggered an extensive search effort, making it one of Oregon's largest, and their slayings have been regarded as one of the most chilling and perplexing enigmas in the state's history. The Cowden family's tragic story has raised questions about the dangers of wilderness exploration. 
Number 8. The Elusive Sasquatch One of the most predominant mysteries of the wilderness, Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch. Bigfoot, or Sasquatch, is a legendary creature that is said to inhabit forests, mountains, and other remote areas in North America. Although there's no concrete evidence of the existence of Bigfoot, many people claim to have seen the creature in national parks and other wilderness areas. National parks are vast areas of protected land that offer ideal habitats for many different species of wildlife. With their dense forests, rugged terrain, and limited human activity, national parks can provide ample cover for large animals like Bigfoot. In fact, there have been many reported sightings of Bigfoot in national parks across the United States, including Yosemite, Yellowstone, and the Great Smoky Mountains. Number 7. The Hopi Indians of the Grand Canyon the Hopi Indians are a Native American tribe with a rich cultural heritage and deep ties to the Grand Canyon region of Arizona. For centuries, the Hopi have inhabited the mesas and canyons surrounding the Grand Canyon, where they've maintained their unique traditions, customs, and spiritual beliefs. The Hopi people have a rich oral tradition that has been passed down through generations, and their legends and stories often center on the Grand Canyon and its surrounding landscapes. According to Hopi mythology, the Grand Canyon is considered a sacred site, believed to be the home of powerful spirits and deities. According to their spiritual connection to the Grand Canyon, the Hopi people have also relied on the canyon's resources for thousands of years. They're known for their farming practices, which involve cultivating crops on the canyon's terraced slopes using traditional irrigation techniques. The Hopi also use the canyon's resources for their crafts, such as pottery and weaving. One of the most popular Hopi myths revolve around their god of death, known as Masao. According to Hopi legends, Masao is responsible for creating the world and everything in it, including the first human beings. However, Masao is not a benevolent god, but rather a fearsome and powerful figure associated with death, destruction, and the underworld. The Hopi people believe that Masao was responsible for guiding the spirits of the dead to the afterlife and that he has the power to bring illness, drought, and famine to the living. Some believe the Masao continue to watch over the canyons and the people that visit them. Number 6. The Lost Girl Found in a Cave Nestled in the sprawling wilderness of Washington County, Arkansas, lies Devil's Den State Park, a 2,500-acre playground for outdoor enthusiasts. Here, adventure seekers flock to indulge in a plethora of exciting activities such as hiking, camping, mountain biking, and horseback riding. With its stunning sandstone caves, bluffs, ravines, rock shelters, and crevices, the area is a treasure trove of natural wonders and fossil hotspots. Families looking to escape the hustle and bustle of city life have long made this park a must-visit destination for some much-needed fun in the great outdoors. However, in 1946, the Van Alst family's visit to the park became a nightmare. While playing in the creek in her bathing suit, eight-year-old Catherine Van Alst disappeared into thin air. Despite her father and brother being mere feet away, she vanished without a trace, leaving the family in a state of panic. As a massive search party combed the woods and campsite, the mystery of Catherine's disappearance only deepened, leaving many to wonder what truly happened to the young girl. With each passing moment being critical, Searchers scoured several square miles of the area with a meticulous and methodical search. The stakes were high, since eight-year-old Catherine Van Alst was barely dressed in a bathing suit and barefoot, making her extremely vulnerable to the dangers of the wilderness. Despite the exhaustive search lasting for six days, there was no sign of the missing girl, and hope was dwindling. However, a miraculous turn of events occurred when a team of volunteers stumbled upon a cave and little Catherine appeared out of nowhere, waving at them calmly. The strange thing was that she seemed to be in a daze, with an eerie calmness in her demeanor, as she simply uttered, Here I am. The truly bewildering part was that the spot where she was found was seven air miles away, and 600 feet higher in elevation than the place where she had disappeared. This was just one of the many perplexing details that made her return even more mysterious. The eight-year-old girl, Catherine Van Alst, was found 30 miles away from her campsite after six days of being lost. She had trekked through harsh, steep, and treacherous wilderness terrain in her bathing suit with no shoes on. Her swollen feet, insect bites, and scratches indicated that she had wandered around. 
But she was in better shape than expected. Despite being thoroughly searched by aircraft and tracker dogs twice, she had not been found until she suddenly appeared in a cave. Catherine's calm demeanor after such a frightening experience puzzled everyone. The unusual circumstances surrounding Catherine Van Oss's disappearance has led to speculation about what happened to her. Some theories suggest that she was lured away by mysterious forces, and possibly even taken care of by those entities until she was found. Number 5. The Haunted Battleground Gettysburg, Pennsylvania is known as one of the most haunted places in the United States. This small town is home to the historic Gettysburg Battlefield, where the bloodiest battle of the American Civil War was fought in July 1863. Today, visitors to the city can experience numerous ghost tours and paranormal investigations, all in an effort to get a glimpse of the town's many ghostly inhabitants. The town's haunting history is unsurprising, given the tragic events that unfolded on the battlefield over 150 years ago. The three-day battle resulted in over 51,000 casualties, including 7,800 deaths. The sheer number of lives lost during the conflict has led to countless reports of ghostly apparitions, unexplained noises, and inexplicable occurrences in the area. One of the most famous haunted spots in Gettysburg is the Farnsworth House Inn, which served as a field hospital during the battle. Visitors to the inn have reported seeing ghostly soldiers wandering the halls and hearing the sounds of footsteps and whispers. Some have even claimed to have felt a ghostly presence touching them. Another popular spot for paranormal enthusiasts is the Gettysburg National Military Park Museum and Visitor Center. The museum houses a collection of artifacts from the battle, and many visitors have reported seeing ghostly apparitions in the exhibits. Some have even claimed to have captured ghostly images in their photographs while visiting the museum. The historic Saxe Covered Bridge is also a well-known haunted spot in Gettysburg. According to legend, a young Confederate soldier was hung from the bridge during the battle, and his ghost still haunts the area today. Visitors to the bridge have reported hearing unexplained footsteps, feeling cold spots, and even seeing the ghostly apparition of the soldier himself. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, Gettysburg's haunted history is certainly intriguing. The town's tragic past has left a mark on the area, and it's not surprising that many people believe that the spirits of those who lost their lives in the conflict still linger in the town today. After all, those who die miserably often want to seek vengeance, even in the afterlife. Number 4. Mount Shasta Mount Shasta, a massive snow-covered volcano located in Northern California, has long been the subject of mysterious and unexplained phenomena. Many people believe that the mountain is a site of spiritual and supernatural energy, and it's become a popular destination for those interested in the paranormal. This place has been associated with UFO sightings and alien encounters. There have been numerous reports of strange lights and objects in the sky over the mountain, as well as claims of close encounters with extraterrestrial beings. Some believe that the mountain serves as a portal to other dimensions, and that the strange phenomena experienced there are evidence of interdimensional travel. Number 3. Missing German Tourists The Death Valley Germans is a mysterious story that has fascinated people for decades. In the summer of 1996, the remains of a family were discovered in Death Valley, California. The family had been missing for over a decade, and their disappearance had been shrouded in mystery. The family was made up of four Germans, a couple and their two children. They had come to the United States in 1984 on a tourist visa and rented a car in Los Angeles. They then drove to Death Valley and were never seen again. Over the years, many theories have been proposed about what happened to the family. Some speculate that they simply got lost in the desert and died of exposure. Others believe that they were the victims of foul play, perhaps at the hands of drug smugglers or other criminals. However, there's no concrete evidence to support these claims and they remain nothing more than speculation. Despite the many theories, the mystery of the Death Valley Germans remains unsolved. The discovery of their remains brought some closure to their family and friends, but it also raised more questions than answers. What led them to Death Valley? Why did they disappear? And what really happened to them? Perhaps the truth will forever remain unknown. Number 2. The Mystery of the Smoky Mountains Dennis Martin was a six-year-old boy who went missing on June 14, 1969 while camping with his family in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. 
Dennis was playing hide-and-seek with his younger brother and some other boys when he disappeared without a trace. Despite an extensive search effort, which included over 1,400 volunteers and lasted for over a week, no sign of Dennis was ever found. The search area covered more than 56 square miles of rugged terrain, but the boy seemed to have vanished without a trace. The disappearance of Dennis Martin is one of the most famous and enduring mysteries in the history of the Smoky Mountains. The case has been the subject of numerous articles, documentaries, and books over the years, and it has spawned countless theories and speculation. One of the most persistent theories is that Dennis was kidnapped by someone who was camping in the park that weekend. Another theory is that a wild animal, such as a bear or a mountain lion, took him. Some people believe that Dennis may have simply gotten lost in the woods and succumbed to the elements. Despite the passage of time, the case of Dennis Martin remains unsolved. The National Park Service continues to investigate the disappearance, and they've not given up hope of finding answers. And now it's time for today's topic. A park ranger has revealed that something chilling has happened inside this national park. Yellowstone National Park is known for its impressive geothermal features, including numerous geysers, hot springs, and mud pots. While these geysers are beautiful to behold, they can also be incredibly dangerous. The world's tallest active geyser, Steamboat Geyser, can erupt to heights of over 300 feet. While it doesn't erupt as frequently as some of the park's other geysers, its eruptions can last for several hours and spew scalding hot water and steam. It was said that more than a dozen people have died because of these geysers, and their spirits continue to haunt the national park. Have you heard about any of these incidents? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. The Fireballs of Hawaii The Fireballs of Hawaii, also known as the Hawaiian Fireballs, refer to a mysterious and unexplained phenomena that has been observed in the skies above Hawaii for decades. Witnesses have reported seeing bright, fiery orbs or balls of light streaking through the sky at high speeds, sometimes accompanied by a sonic boom or explosion. These fireballs are often seen during the night or early morning hours and are typically described as being orange or red in color. They're known to move at extremely high speeds and can sometimes change direction suddenly or disappear altogether. The origin and nature of the Hawaiian fireballs remains a mystery with no clear explanation for their appearance. Some speculate that they may be meteorites or space debris entering the Earth's atmosphere while others suggest that they could be the result of military activity or even extraterrestrial spacecraft. Despite numerous sightings and reports, there has been little scientific study of the fireballs in Hawaii. However, a local organization called the UFO Hawaii Research and Analysis Group has been investigating the phenomena since the 1990s and has compiled a database of over 600 reported sightings. Which of these unexplained mysteries intrigued you the most? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.